Hey everybody, welcome back to a new video, and in today's video, I'm not really going to be showing you much. Uh, this is just going to be going on in the background while you look at the beautifully amazing Rare Odyssey picture. So, today, we're going to be discussing a theory that I recently created about Mario not being human. Now, some people may have guessed this already from a few things in uh, Mario Odyssey that I'm going to get to in a minute. But, um, so as I was saying, so I've been thinking about the theory, and the theory first started when I was playing through Mario Odyssey itself. And Mario Odyssey here, um, when I was where I tried on the, in the Sand Kingdom the boxer outfit, and the boxer's outfit immediately reveals Mario's chest, and you can see that he has no belly button. You have to take my word for it, and if you go on to Super Mario Odyssey, you can see that he doesn't have a very belly button, just two nipples. And the belly button is created from the umbilical cord, and the umbilical cord is what links you to your mother, so that your mother can give you food. And, uh, not literally give you food, but you'll take some of her food, and like a thief you are. Like the little thieves you are. Anyway, so... And if Mario doesn't have a belly button, it means he never had an umbilical cord. Which means he was never linked to the mother for him to get food from. Which suggests that he didn't have a mother. Which could mean that he's not human at all. Okay? So more evidence is shown when we go to New Donk City, which is in the actual background picture. With the Odyssey and the Crazy Cat store there. Um, but... If you actually compare Mario to the size of a new Donkeyan, uh, so the actual people there, who are actual people, they're like twice Mario's size. So, this begs the question still, what is Mario? Let's put it this way. He has no mother, and he's very, very small. Now, the answer comes from a book called The Hobbit. In The Hobbit, there is a line that um, about dwarves that says, uh, Few, very few people, uh, if not no one, has ever seen a female dwarf, and that some people believe that dwarves are all men, and they are born from rainbows instead of women, or something like that. I don't remember the quote from the top of my head. Think about it. It all makes sense. Why did Mario have a, not have a mother? Check. Why is Mario smaller than regular humans? Check. There's also a stereotype going around that if Mario was an Italian, he'd be hairier, but... I'm not saying I agree with that, but if that's true, then this could be a reason why. And it's not like Mario Odyssey hasn't already added mythical creatures. For example, the Lord of Lightning. If you're saying the Lord of Lightning is not a mythical creature, then I'd like you to go and send me a picture of that electrifying dragon in your back garden. So, if this is the case, then it would explain why... If this isn't the case, sorry, then I do have another theory on why Mario could be so small, um, and it explains why new donkeys are a lot taller than him, um, so that may make a bit more sense, and a little less far-fetched, considering what Mario Odyssey is based around, like, most of the evidence is in-game, and not from a book that's completely not related to it, so, so make sure you stay tuned for that theory, and if you enjoyed this video, then please make sure to give it a thumbs up, and comment below, and make sure you subscribe to our channel for the next video and more Mario Odyssey related content. If you're into other games such as Terraria and Fallout and uh, Just Cause 3, Fortnite, anything like that. Um, me and my buddy Steve do videos on those as well. So if you like those, make sure you subscribe. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.